Hi, I'm your local music evangelist, L.A. Jackson, and we're back again coming to you live from 3 a.m. studios in Atlanta. Come make your next big hit with us. Our video of the day is the story behind the picture with Criss Cross. These guys blew up out of the Atlanta area, and I've got my story of how that picture came to be. Our words of the day is cross collateralization, and that's when record companies charge everything they spent right back to the music artists. This keeps the artists owing the label, and owing the label, and owing the label, and not getting paid, and getting paid, and getting paid. You can find more stories about cross collateralization in the Musicology book series, and if you order yours today, I'll even autograph it. Use cross collateralization in a sentence and put it in the comment section below so I can check it out and respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep these videos coming to you. And thanks for being the best part of the YouTube experience. Okay, we are back at the studio again and we are going to get one more episode of stories behind the picture. And today we are going to do Criss Cross. They were a hit phenomenon back in the early 90s with their big, huge blockbuster hit, Jump, and it made people jump right to the cash registers. So here she got, and there's no more touching the wet Jerry Curl because I went back to black with this one and cut my hair back down to the natural and uh, I guess this was a couple years into me minus the jerry curl so there's Chris Cross there as you can see and the other gentleman there is Graham Jackson no relationship but he had a record store downtown Atlanta called Hotlanta Music and it was a nice little spot right in the heart of the downtown area but this was at a little party we had. Maybe it was a dinner at a restaurant. And uh, we got the guys in and uh, had some retailers, of course. But uh, nice little soiree. And uh, it wasn't a big, huge crowd. Uh, it was really intimate. And uh, both Chris's uh, were very, very nice. And we had a good time at this one. And. Uh, we probably did the in-store at Hotlanta Records and then after that came on over to this restaurant where we all ate and treated some retailers to some fine food and such. And uh, they sold a lot of records. Jump came out and we had a couple of hits off of that and that one went through Rough House Records which was going through uh, Columbia. And um, a lot of events that I threw were strictly for retailers since that's what my job was to market to the retailers and there were several uh, events that I actually had featuring Criss Cross. We did a couple of in-stores. I know we had a big one at Turtles Records out by the Stone Mountain area but uh, the guys were great. I mean just just uh, wonderful and uh, we just had a great time. Usually what takes place at these little meet and greets when we have dinner is we'll go on and get some of the key retailers in and um, of course they get to meet the artist and eat some good food and um, ask them questions, you know, rub elbows. But the main point of the entire affair is to get the retailers to be really excited about uh, Criss Cross or the artist and this way they'll be talking about them in the record store and pushing it on to people that might be buying other records they might suggest a new Criss Cross or with, in their case uh, people probably came in and asked directly for the Criss Cross uh, single or album and this was all designed to help with sales and of course at that time uh, push the uh, record of the charts and we definitely accomplished that with Criss Cross and uh, many other records of course and Criss Cross was fortunate they had a couple of great albums so they didn't survive off of just one single uh, they were able to release other singles as well uh, one was I Miss the Bus I remember that one and uh, they did uh, extremely well 
and um, I had a lot of fun putting up posters at Graham Jackson's store, Hotlanta Records, and other stores as well. So that's the story behind this picture, and I guess right above it is uh, my man Isaac Hayes, who made Shaft. We might do that next, or we might just go on and do something else, because we still have a couple other pictures to cover. So there you have it, the story behind the picture with Chris Cross. Tune in for our next story. <laughs>